This is a video shared by Dr. Juliana Prazeres from Salvador, Brazil. Submacular hemorrhage is an important cause of irreversible visual loss, and nowadays massive hemorrhage is generally managed with PPV and injection of TPA into the subretinal space. In this video, we show an adaptation that allows better control injecting the correct doses using the viscofluid control unit of the Constellation system. You can either inject TPA directly into the subretinal space, or you can create first a macular retinal detachment to deliver the TPA through the same retinotomy. In this case, surgeon performed first BSS injection in the subretinal space using a 38 gauge cannula adapted in the viscofluid control unit. Here we show the preparation of fluid control unit with a 10 ml syringe. Before you inject BSS into the subretinal space, you can reduce the intraocular pressure infusion. Before the injection, it is important to set the pressure up to 15 psi and to test the system. Now you have to inject 0.2 ml of TPA solution into the subretinal space, but how to inject such a low volume in a controlled and predictable way? Medwin has a microdose injection kit commercially available, but if you don't have it or if you want an affordable option, you can follow the next steps. To prepare a TPA injection system, first an insulin syringe is cut with a scapel at the 0.5 ml mark. Then the plunger is also cut, leaving 1 cm longer than the syringe body. Now a rubber tip of the plunger on the 10 ml syringe is removed and a circumferential incision is made. So 0.2 ml of TPA is aspirated with a needle, which is subsequently replaced by a 38 gauge cannula. The cut syringe is placed into the 10 ml syringe of the viscofluid control unit, fastening in the circular hole in the rubber tip. The system allows a slower and semi-automated controlled mechanism with marked stability that can reduce the risk of complications like hemorrhage and macular hole formation comparing with manual injection techniques.